great that's great okay so i've just started recording our meeting so we can watch it later and that other people can also uh, watch because not everybody's going to have time today so jonathan uh we have here some people most of them are your followers okay oh thank you guys thank you <laughs> <laughs> yes, and today they will be uh, interviewing you, okay? <laughs> so you're being okay, I'm here. <laughs> Feel free, guys. <laughs> Go ahead and ask. <laughs> Great. So, like I told you before, not everybody uh, can have a lot of vocabulary to develop a conversation. So, for the, uh, the ones who can develop a conversation in English, please let's take advantage of the opportunity to to speak only in english okay but for the ones who don't speak in english or are not comfortable okay enough to speak in english be my guest <laughs> speaking portuguese or you can no problem só que apertando uma tecla SAP rapidinho. Então, gente, o Jonathan vai falar com a gente em inglês, porque é uma oportunidade para a gente conversar um pouquinho em inglês. Quem não se sentir à vontade de falar inglês, fica bem à vontade. Pode falar em português, tá? Que ele aqui é bilingual. <risos> Fiquem à vontade e aproveitem para tirar as curiosidades aí dos vídeos que vocês já assistiram dele, tá? Podem ficar à vontade. Eu vou ficar aqui mais atrás em backstage acompanhando vocês mas estou por aqui se alguém precisar de help tá então vamos começar contigo Jonathan can you please tell us a little about yourself where did you live in Brazil why did you guys decide to move to the USA come on tell us about okay your all right now everybody know me my name is Jonathan um, I moved to the United States in 2005 me and my mom I'm from Ipatinga, Minas Gerais, from Brazil. Um, my mom, this is for my mom, decided to come here. And I say, okay, I'm gonna go with her. And in 2005, me and my mom moved from here. And I'm still here, 2005 to now, 2020, almost 2023, you know, the, the years passed like that. <laughs> It's been a long time, my goodness. Okay, yeah. and where did you guys decide to move to the USA, Jonathan? Um, my mom and my dad, it's, it's, um, it's stopped the relationship, decided to not leave it together anymore. And I am the only one. I have two more, two more brothers, one brother and one sister. And my mom say, I'm gonna go, my mom, every in for from the whole life, my mom say, oh, I'm gonna go to United States. I'm gonna go. I said, ah, you never go. You're just talking, 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 but you never move. And mm -hmm. but she really decided to come, mm -hmm. and she say, I'm gonna go. And I say, Wow, this is looks like real. And I'm gonna prepare. I'm gonna go too, because I'm not gonna leave you by yourself. <laughs> and I come with her and. You know, over here, um, I start to work in construction. I work for construction for some times, and I stop construction and I start to go with the tool guy in Disney World and Universal Studios, Sea World, and the tourism is gonna down, and I come back to construction, and now I decide to create the YouTube channel for try to help. You know. People in Brazil look for what is the life, what I'm gonna do, what is the first thing I need to do in, in the move in another state. One of the first thing I tell you guys, you guys need to do is keep learning English with Chicha Carol. This is gonna help you guys it's so much. That's true, it helps a lot, of course, of course. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to stop asking you because I have a lot of questions, <laughs> but I'm going okay. to <laughs> my students ask it too. Come on, people, who would like to ask Jonathan a question? Don't be shy. Come on. 
Yeah, go ahead, Kai. Feel free. <laughs> <laughs> Quem quiser perguntar em português, pode perguntar, tá, gente? Não tem problema. Vai, o Michael, vai, Michael, só para a gente quebrar o gelo. <risos> you, let's go. Oh, hello. Nice to meet you, Jonathan. Hello, Michael, how are you? Nice to meet you, too. Oh, I'm, I'm great. What about you? I'm good, man. A little bit tired. Oh. I, I worked hard today, but I'm good. Oh, me too, me too. Uh, <laughs> Jonathan, uh, do you work with me? Say again, sir. Uh, do you work with uh, anything? What with do you somebody do? else? What do you do? What do you do? The US. Okay. My job right now, I do the construction. I do everything with tile. Tile, it's the same um, ceramica in Brazil. Okay. And it's best, I'm a specialist in this area. I do some repairs and I do some new installation too, you know. Oh, oh, nice. Uh, where do you live in USA? I live in Orlando, Orlando, Florida. Orlando, Florida. The city, it's Orlando, the state is the Florida. Oh, okay, nice. Uh, oh, so, hi, my name is Michael, uh, I work with a software developer uh, here in Brazil, uh, and I, I wanna, I wanna go to USA, oh, uh, to, to USA all good year. <laughs> Oh, good year. Uh, oh. Yes. Uh, and my wife is uh, like it very, very much to Orlando. Yeah, Orlando is a beautiful city. That's, yes. I know so that's because I live here, you know, but every, everyone, want, everybody wants to go to Orlando. Yes, you have yes. everything together. You have, you know, you have good things for to do here. You have, you can go to the park. You can work. You can. All that is beautiful. Yes, and much of people like to to go or to move to Orlando uh, today, man. Right? Oh yeah, the weather looks like from Brazil. That's what it looks like from every South America. The weather, it's the good, the best thing here. Yes, yes. If you compare for another state, another state, it's freezing. <laughs> of course. Uh, oh, uh, thank you, uh, Jonathan. Is it? Oh, you're welcome. Congratulations, Michael. <laughs> Good job. Let's go, people. Who wants to ask Jonathan? Yeah, it's me, teacher. Go on, Rob. Again? Okay. On. Hey, hello, Jonathan. Nice to meet you. Hey, Robert. How are you? Nice to meet you, too. I'm great, bro. <laughs> hey, I have a question. Um, my mm -hmm. question is, why did you start? The seed to start recording in USA. So um, I'm come. My wife every time she say me, "Why are you not gonna, you know, try to to share your experience with the people?" I say, um, "A lot of people do this already. I'm just just one one more." But I see a lot of videos in the YouTube. A lot of people say just talk with the people it's not real life you know just sell america it's not like there america it's everything easy you can come and we can buy we can sell you know but it's not like that have more than that america it's good america it's good place to start your life or for your hey start your life but i see a lot of videos says you know, people lie in the internet a lot. And they say, I'm gonna try, I'm not the best of the internet, but I'm gonna try, keep and try 
to talk the real life here. That's why I decide to create video just for change, for share my experience. Let me cut you off a little, yeah. Robert. Oh, very fast, no. very fast. Yeah. Uh, uh, and that sure. thing about what you have just said, Ajahn, I think it's really, really important because there are so many people here in Brazil who give up, you know, everything, everything because of the American dream. And they think it's everything, you know, pink and blue. <laughs> I don't know how oh, I yeah. said that, but I, I'm sure you understand. <laughs> And things are not exactly like that. So it's really nice to have more realistic vlogs, you know, from from you, you people who live in the U.S. is to really show Brazil and the, the real life in the U.S.A. Of course, it is. It must be wonderful, much better than than Brazil. But it also it has its perks, its benefits. Right. But it also has the difficulty, the discrimination for the immigrants right it's very harsh not uh you are not going to be able to do whatever you do here in brazil to have the life you have here the comfort life you have here you need to work very hard to get all these things in the usa and it's nice to show people these things of course really nice okay robert shutting up wow. <laughs> go on <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, no problem. Come on, guys. You want to say anything else, Robert? Yes. Um, I said I was going to shut up, and not you. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, Clayton, let's go, Clayton. Clayton is another one who's going abroad. He's going to study in Mexico. <laughs> oh, go. yes. Hello, Jonathan. Nice to meet you. Hi, Jonathan. how are you, Clayton? Nice to meet you. I'm okay. What do you think? Orlando is an expensive city to live in the United States. Florida, Florida have everybody say the Florida is cheap to live, but this change right now, everything now, everywhere you're gonna go in matter state, it's now it's so expensive. The rental it's coming up like a crazy. I wait, I want to, I waited for the next year. Something, something need to happen because everything it's so expensive but if you compare orlando to boston new york california it's it's here it's more cheap for another state okay thank you Jonathan. and uh, every country have problem so what do you think what's the bigger problem of united states um Problems, like you say, everywhere have problems. Over here in Orlando, I have like a current, not a crazy claim like from Brazil. You can go outside with your wallet. We can go outside with your AirPods or your iPhone. Nobody's gonna take a gun and say, Clayton, give this to me, you know, but have some areas have this problem too. It's over here, like it's not, no, everything is flower, you know, have a lot of problems too. I think uh, Orlando, it's tourism area. It's now, it's the, it's not like another place, but if you go to Detroit, if you go to all these another parts, New York in some parts, you can see this thing to happen too. But I think the big problem here sometimes it's it's the people because the people i'm not generally only brazilian people the people move from another another state or another another city another something like that and give them all this problem you know to here but it's too hard to, to tell you 
what is the problem it's like that because over here you you can walk safe you know you can buy whatever you want but you need to work hard um it's normal problem like a life have a problem it's nothing crazy thank you jonathan and more one question have you been to mm -hmm. disney <laughs> In oh, Orlando. a lot. I work with tour guide. You know, I am the guy with the flag with 35 people with me. Guys, it's from here. Guys, this is this. Guys, this is this. <laughs> you know, I work a lot over there. It's Thank cool. You, Jonathan. Yeah. Wow. Teacher, I, I can I can another um, question for Jonathan. Yes, please. Woo -hoo! Thank you so much <laughs> for this. <laughs> hey, Jonathan, uh, why do you think a lot of Brazilians have some health problems there, like uh, depressions type? Right? It makes sense. My my sentence. Say it again. Uh, yes. No, no problem. Um, uh, I said, right? Um, why do you think um, about um, when Brazilians there in in USA um, some health problems in USA like um, depressions, uh, problems with uh, health, right? Yeah. This is yep. one of the big problems over here, especially over here in Florida. Because nice. for insurance, you need to be insurance here, medical insurance. But over here in Florida, it's too expensive. Now, if you compare to Massachusetts, Massachusetts have a med health if anyone can have access of this program. Over here in the Florida, if you have any medical problems, if you need to go to the hospital, the hospital is not going to say, hey, who is Robert? He's have a insurance. He have a, um, you know, he's not going to ask you for who is Robert. He's going to take care of your problem. And mm -hmm. after that, you're going to receive a bill. And I can warranty you it's going to be a big bill, you know, but he's going to take care of you. He's not going to leave you over there. He's not going to leave you alone. He's going to take care of this problem but you're going to have a big bill to pay. But if you go to Massachusetts, they have a special program for everywhere, everyone, everyone, you know, to apply to there. If mm -hmm. him approve, he going to have this assistant, you know, and the, any hospital people, I know people need to make a seizure and everything there. He not pay nothing. He not pay the government, mm -hmm. you know, pay for him but over here in the florida and in other states um in some states you know that's no all not have any you know health plan yeah it's a very problem thank you so much for answer i appreciate it. right i'm subscribing your channel <laughs> thank you don't thank forget you. to subscribe <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> don't forget guys nice nice more questions? Let's go, people. Alguém gostaria de fazer uma perguntinha para o Jonathan, que não quis queira falar em, port... em inglês, queira perguntar em português, fica à vontade. Alguém gostaria? I have a question, teacher. Ok, Jesus, please. Jonathan, I am Jesus, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, did you move to live in the United States to work or study? Say it again, I'm sorry. Did you move to to the United States to work or study? First of all, I come with my mom, but for the first time I really look for something to work here you know and i think it's everybody now some people come just to visit but my mom decided to move from here and i come with here and in the beginning i just come and look for some jobs for sure 
Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Anybody else? Let's go, people. Go, Antonia. I see you there. <laughs> good night, good night, people. Hello. Okay. I am only here <laughs> for this moment. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, she's a little shy. Patty, would you like to ask a question, Patty? I don't know if she's over there. Vamos, gente. Ok, Aline, please. Vou tentar. <laughs> In English. Oh, meu Deus, vamos lá. Hi, Jonathan. Nice Hi, to meet you. Hi, how are you, you, Aline? Nice to meet I'm you. I'm fine. Too. Me like your mom. Uh, uh, since I'm kid, like mm -hmm. to go to USA. Okay. You, your mom, and one kid. It's your son, no, your daughter? me, like your mom. <laughs> okay. I, I got you. Now, me and my family um, want to go. Mm -hmm. And... One minute. <laughs> okay. When? You guys have a plan for that? Yes. Espera. Um... <laughs> Eu vou ter que falar em português. Okay, Desculpa. Okay, tudo bem. <laughs> Daqui mais ou menos uns dois anos. Aí você já entendeu. Era só até, né? Puxado, então, puxado. eu entendo, eu entendo, mas eu travo. Eu entendo tudo que vocês estão falando, mas eu travo na hora. <risos> ok. O que você recomenda nesse começo? No começo, eu recomendo que vocês se preparem bem, tá? Tanto, Pode falar em inglês. Né? Ok. Please. Pode falar em inglês? Sim. Yes. Ok. Just prepare... See a look at a lot of videos on I take I say you prepare by money if possible, prepare mental, you know, because over here the problems torn as it's a little bit more. Because if you're in Brazil, if you're in your place, if you're looking the right, if you're looking the left, you have families. Over here, that's you. I, I, I say God and trust you uh -huh. and you again, you know, mm -hmm. and you need to prepare, you need to, like the English, that's not, I'm going to tell this not, not because I'm here with the teacher, but if you move to another state, you, like a kid, you know, like a babe, you know, walking because you know, you, you know, you need to, to know everything here you know say nothing like because you're not speak english this is the first thing you guys need to know you guys need to speak english because if you have any problem here over here you need to speak english you know yes okay thank you jonathan it's, it's clear for you yes so okay. clear Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Yes, Hi, this is something that I really, I'm sorry, Pat, I just want to say this very fast, okay? Uh, this is something interesting, because sometimes I get myself thinking, how is that even possible for Brazilians or any other uh, immigrants who go to the USA and they don't get to communicate their needs? It must be really hard, really, especially if you have some kind of, um, uh, I don't know, a health emergency, you know, you cannot even communicate. Yes. And, and then you must be saying, of course, but now uh, today we have Google, <laughs> you know, <laughs> hold on, doctor. <laughs> yeah, but you know, yeah, <laughs> but you know what is the big problem? Some, maybe some people no want to Google 
something. He wants to you speak something. Sometimes I receive some calls from friends. Hey, help me, help me. I, I need to say some, something with the bank, with something like that. And then he tried to give his phone. And then, no, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to talk to your phone. You know, sometimes it's, it's very difficult. Of course, of course. It's something to think about, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Pat, please, you can say now. Uh, so I I had a question, but I I think that Jonathan is Brazilian, no? Yeah. Ah, okay, because I was late for the class. So, um, I'm in USA too. I am in Massachusetts, and I broke oh. my ankle. Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. I broke my ankle uh, two months ago, and I use Mass Health. And uh, if I um, if I don't have Mass Health, I need to pay six thousand dollar. It's very expensive, and you talk about it. Yeah, this is, I explained to Robert right now. Massachusetts have this plan. It's very good, very good. If this is he in Florida, he gonna take care of him, you know, but the bill, this bill, it's gonna come for him, for you, for sure. So, um, I, um, a question. How many, how many years do you stay here? Almost 18. 18 years. I come here in 2005. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go, people. Who else would like to ask a question? Diego. Are you there, Diego? Ele vai me matar, quer ver? Diego, <risos> responda agora. <risos> ok, talvez ele diz, deve estar trabalhando. Ah, Ai, estou para fazer outro, outro trabalho. <risos> Come on, Diego, let's hey, go. Hey, Diego, <risos> my old friend. Hello, guys, how are you? Eu tô só escutando, eu não, eu não tô prestando nem atenção, o Christopher ah, não tá deixando. Oh, eu já sabia, por isso que eu te chamei. Vai lá, faça uma pergunta pro Jonathan. Você vai deixar, neném? Vai, Christopher vai ficar bem quietinho, vai lá. Ah, <risos> ah, eu não sei o que perguntar, eu tô nem prestando atenção nas coisas. Ah, então vai pensando aí que você é o próximo que eu vou chamar, hein? Não tem corpo mole, vai pensando. Ok. <risos> ok, vou chamar a Fabi, então. Fabi Oliveira, let's go, Fabi. Gente, o que, que esse povo está fazendo? <risos> Vamos lá, gente. Quem gostaria de fazer pergunta? Eu vou deixar vocês à vontade. Alvin? Vamos lá, Alvin. Oi. Érica? Let's go, Alvin. Essa vou fazer é umas perguntinhas. É... Hi, Jonathan. Nice Hi, how are you, Alvin? Nice to meet you. É... Fine. É... Do, you know... Do you know Tampa? Florida? Né? Yeah, it's very close here to Orlando. It's beautiful beautiful beach over there it's a right. beautiful place it's like one hour and a half one hour of 45 driving right. I, I have, have a friends. lot of Brazil over there too uh -huh, okay i have friends living here aí né in, in tampa na florida oh, you have friend live over there uh, two friends oh it's nice city, beautiful city too. Uh, I love that. Uh -huh. e, e Jonathan, uh, do you uh, miss Ipatinga? Miss é saudade? Como que? Oh, oh yeah. Do Ipatinga. <laughs> I miss the place, yeah, so much. <laughs> because, because I live in Governador Valadares, near. Oh, uh, you're my neighbor. 
É, só para lá dez é melhor, né? I think, I think one hour and a half. One hour drive. I don't believe it. It's, Ipatinga is the best. É, Ipatinga. É, GV é best. É, Jonathan, do you have... É, do you have... Oh, excuse me. Have you ever been to New York? Yeah. I've been in New York four times. Ah, cool. I love it. E é só isso, Carol. Prazer. É, nice to meet you, Johnny. <laughs> nice to meet you too, Alvin. Tudo de bom, hein? Okay, so I take an attachment there in, in your question and ask which states have you been to in the US, Jonathan? Which states which states have you already visited in the USA? Okay. Um I'm not not a lot. I'm Florida and in 2005 I go to Louisiana. Just and New Jersey, Philadelphia, and I pass on Georgia. I'm going to be in Georgia one time. And I pass in a lot of states because I drive to, I will go to another state for working. But the visit, it's only this state like that right now. I have more, I think the United States have 52. I need to walk in 48, I think, for now. <laughs> You're halfway there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. And which of them did you like best? I love Florida. Oh, right. I love Florida. <laughs> That's why I'm here. But it's, when I say it's beautiful, it's beautiful. I have, you know, a lot of beautiful places. But this is state here, they stay, I think, they're more close to Brazil. You can feel it more Brazil here from another state. But if you guys want to live a real American, go to New York, Boston, Massachusetts. It's like everything you guys see in movies. <laughs> All right, nice. Okay. <laughs> Let's go, people. Who else? Mas alguém gostaria de fazer alguma perguntinha para o Jonathan? Ok, então. Jonathan. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I will ask her and then I call you, ok, Aline? Ok. Just because she raised her hand. <laughs> okay. ok, thank you. Please, Antonia. Ok, eu vou tentar. Uh, Jonathan, uh, which, which city do you recommend for Brazilians to do uh, and that Change, change. I always recommend you guys come with city. You guys have a friend, or you guys have somebody else to help you guys to start it. You know, if you don't have anybody over here, anybody in any city, in any state, you need to look what is the um more brazilian concentration some people know one that but it's very important and they start because you're gonna need this help you're gonna need people to tell you you need to do this you need to do this you're gonna need brazilian and because all the city have a lot of brazilian if you go to the bank You're gonna find somebody else over there. It's Brazilian to work in this bank. He's gonna help you to open your account, you know. But like Orlando have a lot of Brazilian. Um, New New Jersey have a lot of Brazilian. Um, Massachusetts have a lot of Brazilian. You know, a lot of states. But this three state, this three state, I recommend for you know. But if you have somebody else in Alaska, you can go to Alaska first. And after that, <laughs> you just pick whatever city you need to go. You hear that, Michael? <laughs> okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Because uh, I, I want to, to move to Alaska. <laughs> oh, yeah? 
Yes. No, thank you. Good luck. You will be the ice cream, ice cream man in Alaska. No, I was born uh, in Maranhão. It's very hot, but oh, yeah. uh, now I live in Sao Paulo. Sometimes I'm feeling frozen. You're gonna you're gonna see some frozen if in the time you're gonna move from here. <laughs> you're now just in refrigerator. You're not in the freezer yet. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Jonathan. You're welcome. Thank you, Anton. <laughs> it's freezing. Okay. Uh I'm going to call on Erica, Julian, Carlos. Alguém de vocês gostaria de fazer alguma perguntinha para o Jonathan? Hi, Jonathan. Oi, gente. Hey, Erica, how are you? Hello. Hello. <risos> é, eu, tô, eu moro aqui nos Estados Unidos. Eu cheguei tem duas semanas, mais ou menos. E, well. é, eu moro aqui. Eu estou em Porto, Santo, Porto Santa Lúcia, na Flórida. Fica pertinho de Miami, Deerfield pertinho de Deerfield. Uhum. Eu vim com meu marido, ele tá trabalhando aqui, aí assim, meu inglês é bem básico, eu cheguei a fazer curso, mas foi, mas foi bem pouco, assim. Aí tem bastante uhum. emprego, só que é muito para quem sabe falar o inglês ou o espanhol até mesmo, porque aqui no sul da Flórida mesmo o pessoal fala muito espanhol também. Então, yeah. assim, qualquer uma das duas coisas consegue se virar. Fora isso, é bem difícil arrumar emprego, alguma coisa assim. Aí eu tô estudando inglês agora, já tô aqui, tô estudando. Agora realmente eu sou obrigada, não tem mais não. opção. E, e é isso, para quem pensa em vir, seja passar férias ou alguma coisa assim, é bom estudar bastante o inglês, porque chegar aqui você fica perdido. Você consegue assim entender, mas bem pouco. Mas falar mesmo nada é difícil. Uhum. Eu imagino, assim, para quem vem, é, para quem vem, assim, com alguma base, deve ser bem mais fácil. Né? Ficar a dica. Não, é o que eu sempre digo, né? Quando chega com inglês, você chega passos à frente, né? Não é nem só um passo, são passos à frente. Eu morei em The Field também, foi pouco tempo, foi dois anos. Aí próximo ao Seabra. Ah, sim. Uhum. Eu cheguei a andar lá. Eu vou me mudar para lá o mês que vem. Eu dei uma volta lá. Uhum. Tem alguns mercados. Eu até fui em um mercado para latinos. Porque eu sou muito fã de cuscuz, uhum. né? Então eu fui com a minha uhum. cuscuzeira e o cuscuz. Ah, eu sim. <risos> ah, gente do céu, uma experiência muito, muito bom, assim. Aí fora da caixinha, né? É. Já que vocês estão falando em português, eu falo em português. Né? Aqui, Ai, desculpa, Martins, gente. Aqui, pelo menos na região que eu estou, é, tá faltando mão de obra. É, na região de Framingham, é, tem muita procura de pessoas para trabalhar e pouca gente, assim... É, Quase as empresas não estão dando conta de, de, de contratar o suficiente. Eu acho que tem a ver com o que o Jonatas falou. É, se tem mais concentração de brasileiros, acaba... É, é, tendo uma acho que um apoio maior assim pelos próprios brasileiros exatamente nice uh, okay. Jonathan uh, when do you move USA do you speak English nothing nothing Anna mm -mm. oh my God I and by Hi and um, bye. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was uh, I had teacher Carol in 2005. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, how, how do you do? Well, first of all, um, like Erica said, you here, you need to speak English. Oh. This is the first thing. This is the first thing. But Like I tell you, I work in Disney, I work in Universal Studios, two worlds, and not directly. I work for somebody else, you know, do the service for 
all this company. And sometimes mm -hmm. I need to call to hotel to spoke with some guests, but the guest is Brazilian, like you guys come here to visit, but the hotel people work there, it's American. And mm -hmm. the, my first time, like you name it, Michael, and I can't spell because I'm not speaking English. I take M I C H A E L and you know and try and try and keep try. try. And but I go to the school for one year only. One oh yes. Uh, and uh who was your experience into movie USA? My experience here? Yes. So this is one of the best decisions I make in my life, you know, to come here. Um, sometimes I feel bad because I lost a lot of people in Brazil and the time I'm gonna be here. But sometimes I say, what can I do if I am over there? You know, okay. it's not gonna, change anything but the only uh, the only thing the only difficult thing is this part you know but from my personally by now i don't have i might speak very very good english but now i have a second line and i have third language too i speak a little bit english like you guys see now i speak spanish and my portuguese my first language and I say, if if I get here all in this experience for me, I think it's enough, you know, but over here you have more opportunity, but not for yes. only this, for everything. Of course. Thank you, Jonathan. You're welcome, Mike. Thank you. Okay, Alini, please, Alini, you were going to ask. Yes. Um, how long for you to learn fluent English. I'm keep I'm keep trying. <laughs> I'm not a yet, but for feeling safe and communication about four and five years. Okay. And feeling safe to make some calls, you know, because Sometimes we spoke with somebody else and I see his face. Sometimes he understand because you 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 over there, you know. But mm -hmm. in the cell phone, it's very for me. It's more difficult to you know friend of this. Face. Yeah, face, face to face. Face, face yeah. to face. Yeah. yeah. I imagine. Okay. Yeah, Thank you. The five five years and feel safe to make some you know calls and feel comfortable to spoke okay thanks you are. Mm -hmm. of course this is something interesting because sometimes we we feel blocked a lot of people have this problem right what if i say something wrong what if i mispronounce a word you know, what if, what if, what if, and they never try. This is really sad. Uh, I've met uh, a person who lived in the U.S. for a long time and didn't develop this because he was afraid to speak with other people, you know. So uh, I like it to Joni. Some of you know her. She, she always says that I don't have age to be ashamed. If I say something wrong, I say something wrong. <laughs> You know, at least yeah. I'm trying. <laughs> I like her. She's amazing. You know what I do sometimes? If I say something wrong and the guy say right, and I just ask him, can I say it again and repeat? And the time he repeat that, I got you. This word, it's now it's mine. <laughs> exactly, exactly. We need to be courageous enough to make mistakes because we're human and we learn best from our yeah. mistakes, so we can't be afraid to speak. We can't. We just need to try if we say something wrong. And this is another thing, you know, Jonathan, since uh, I think we we had, what, 
since the first month when I first started with the course, I, I invited uh, an American guy to participate in a class with them. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I, I was thinking that maybe they would think that I was crazy <laughs> because they were <laughs> all beginners, you know. But it was the best thing I've I ever I had ever done because uh, they they could see that it's not so difficult. We don't yeah. communicate only with uh, words, language, you know. But our body it speaks for itself, and it's possible to communicate using other things, not just knowing everything, all the words. So we have some. Uh, some hints that we can use to to communicate with other people. We don't need to know everything. We just need to yeah. make a good use of the vocabulary that we already have. And good luck <laughs> for the person. Oh, to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In the last case, you can Google. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, just give a second. Right. Let's yes. Now and like... uh -huh. Of course. <laughs> and and you, need, you need to speak. You need, yes. you know. Yes. Yeah. Of course. Of course. This is the first step. All yes. right. So, people, we are getting at the end of our meeting here today. Uh, I would like to thank you all so much for your participation, for trying to speak. <laughs> Thank you, Jonathan, for your time, for You're being welcome. here. Thank you so much. We wish you success on your channel, okay? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and we hope to have this gathering again sometime later. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Just invite, I'm here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, okay. Thank you, Robert. Thank you Thank guys. You. Have bye a good bye. night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye, 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 bye guys. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. <laughs> good night.